Which class in WoW is the most fun to play 2023 edition? Let me guess, it's either Demon Hunter or Druid, because that's what I see the most these days. A lot of people are saying, oh, Demon Hunter is so much fun. But yeah, let's find out what Nixium thinks. Which is the most fun class in World of Warcraft Dragonflight? As a new or returning player, choosing the best class can be tough because there's so many options to choose from nowadays, True. after all. I know there's probably a lot of you guys out there scratching your heads, asking yourselves the question, which class in WoW is the most fun to play right now? And also, how would I even determine such a thing? Well, I have good news for you, weary traveler. What I have done in my free time is I have created a fun four-point test to help determine the most enjoyable class for you based on your unique you likes and reasons for playing the game. I call it the FPFT, what? the four-point fun test. <laughs> Check this out. What I have here are all the classes test? in World of Warcraft laid out before your hungry eyes. All right. And what we're going to do is subject them to these series of little tests to see which of them truly reigns supreme as the most enjoyable <laughs> to play in this expansion. The first test will judge these classes based on a variety of play styles. The second, how well they fit into the current game's story. The third oh. will be a test of reputation. And the final test, the ultimate test... Well, we're going to reveal that one with the end of this video. Okay. So let's put our contestants to the challenge, shall we? With the first test that they must undergo. And that is simply this. DPS test. test. number one. Our first test is relatively simple. If you're going to play World of Warcraft, you definitely are going to need a variety of choices to choose from in terms of play style. So for this section, we're going to eliminate each class in front of you that cannot fulfill at least two roles in a dungeon or a raid. That would be tanking, healing, or DPS. That way, if you were to get bored of one type of play style, you can always just switch to another one because the best class certainly can't just be locked behind one way of playing the game, right? So that's it. Mm, it kind of like depends, I would say, because there are some people that really don't like tanking, for example, or healing, and they just want to be a DPS. And then I think playing a rogue or mage, for example, or warlock, I think there's nothing wrong with that, right? But yeah, if you want to fit like many roles and you want to be like super, super versatile, you should probably go for something like Druid because on Druid, you can be a healer, a tank and two DPS. You can be a melee DPS at a range a magical DPS. I think that's why I'm saying like, I see a lot of people play Druid these days. Like if I go to like freaking Ogrima, even like Stormwind, like you see so many Druids and even people starting to level up like new Druids. So I think like, yeah, like a lot of people are making Druids. But Demon Hunter is for some reason also quite popular. And Demon Hunter does not have a healing spec, but it has a tanking spec. So, yeah. Said, let's go over our class contestants <coughs> and say goodbye to the following. So, sorry, rogues, warlocks, hunters, and mages, but all of you guys are off the list. You all might be cool in your own unique ways, and Mage, you might have won the last class test video I made. But right now, Mage you guys is so just fun. Are not up to par for the FPFT. Sorry, fellas. Also, bonus points to druids, monks, and paladins, too. These guys can fulfill three roles, tanking, healing, yep. and DPS. So if you get bored of, let's say, that second role, you can always choose a third one. Now for our second That's what test. I love about my druids. If you're going to have the maximum amount of enjoyment playing a class, it, of course, needs to fit into the storyline of the current expansion somehow. Otherwise, death you're going to end up like a death knight right? in Mists of Pandaria wondering... How the heck did your character even get here? And why yeah. the heck should they even care about what's going on? So which classes currently fit into the lore of Dragonflight? Well, I would say the following. The first would be the warrior, because Beowulf is the prince of all warriors, and he's a dragon slayer. So <laughs> being a warrior in this expansion, of course it fits you wouldn't mention beautifully. This. Druids, Isera, the green dragonflight, True, the emerald green flight. dream, anyone? Come on, druids definitely fit in. Priests. Because the expedition to the Dragon Isles is going to need healers, right? That's Come on, true. That's what priests are known for. Shamans. Elementals out of control. Yeah. Primal dragons. Sounds like Prime, a job yeah, for a Prime shaman, elementals. right? Yeah. Shamans finally getting some love. Evoker. Because, come on, evokers are dragons. And it's the Dragon Isles, all right? Of course they fit. I mean, of course, like, the story is literally also, like, a lot about them. They play such a huge role and they've been completely, like, added to, like, the whole questline stuff. Even if you're, like, not playing on a Drek'thir, you constantly see them and stuff. They are, like, a big part of it, of course. And I'm actually having really, really fun on the Evoker, to be honest. Like, 
I also started playing one and I finally know how like the rotation works and stuff and what to keep up, what cooldowns to manage. And I feel like they are actually pretty fun from a DPS perspective. If you want to push like higher keys and stuff, I think they are really, really fun for that. Dragons. And it's the Dragon Isles, all right? Of course they fit. Some of the classes the that we've already eliminated cool. certainly fit within this expansion, but unfortunately, they're already off the board. So with our expansion fitting classes now known, we got to eliminate the following. Number one, sorry, Death Knights, but it's an expansion about dragons and rogue elementals. It's not really your thing. <laughs> yeah. Demon Hunters, you guys most what? certainly don't fit in this expansion. What? Really, these guys have not fit in anywhere since Legion. Monks, as much as I'd like to... Okay, I mean, this is true with, like, the Demon Hunter, sort of, with the story. Like, we even, like, in BFA, like, did anyone have any clue why in BFA there are still Demon Hunters around? Like, I feel like after Legion, they really lost the spotlight because they were, like, Demon Hunters are, just like their name says, they're freaking hunting for demons. But if there are no demons, what's their purpose? Like, this is the issue with the Demon Hunter. It is, it is too much focused about hunting demons and gaining powers from them because if a demon hunter slays a powerful demon he gets a portion of, of of its power and stuff so yeah this kind of like class feeling doesn't fit into like freaking fighting against dragons or other stuff i feel like death knights are more universal and can fit into more environments than actually demon hunters even in my opinion because what's a death knight you're basically just a undead legendary hero that was raised by freaking arthurs to be part of his scourge then you broke free and yeah like <laughs> so demon hunters they, they fit more into stuff than demon uh, Def, yeah, death knights fits more into stuff than demon hunters in my opinion and by the way, guys, if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content. But yeah, like Blizzard needs to add some, like maybe some lore story, like what demon hunters are up to these days. If Blizzard would make some sort of quest line or some, some maybe like famous character like Illidan return and what they're up to this time and stuff. Maybe a second uh, starting quest line for demon hunters that explains how they actually fit into the current world and stuff. Like, that would be really, really good if Blizzard would do this. Where since Legion? Monks. As much as I'd like to say why that do maybe a lot of monks in? would travel to the island <laughs> to have a drink with some dragons. Yeah. That's eh, kind why of not? a stretch. Uh, we're not going to have all monks, monks on the are list drinking. And lastly, <laughs> paladins. I love paladins, but unfortunately, what? there's no violators of the light when it comes to the Dragon Isles. There's certainly room for maybe some paladin healing when it comes... Wait a second. No, no, no. I, 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 I strongly disagree here with paladin. A paladin is just like a priest. You are a, a, a support sort of unit, kind of, right? Like, you could put, like, priest and paladin into, like, the same sort of box. The only difference is the priest is purely range and you're in robes and... As the, as the paladin, you are some sort of hybrid between a priest and a warrior, and you need support units on expeditions and stuff. Like you need those that like certain give you heals, cleanses, and, and buffs. Like you can explain why paladins are going to the dragon Isles is because like the alliance or horde needs some support units, like some heroes that can also help out and stuff. Like I, I don't see how they don't fit in. Like, they fit in everywhere, Paladins. They're very universal. Even more universal than freaking Death Knights. Because they are like the supporters and the heroes and the fighters and everything. Honestly, Paladins. <coughs> I love Paladins, but unfortunately, there's no violators of the light when it comes to the Dragon Isles. There's certainly room for maybe some Paladin healing when it comes to the expedition to a new land, but kind of like the monk it's a little bit of a stretch so if there was some oh. undead walking around i'd keep the paladins but unfortunately there's not so oh well things are certainly heating up though let me tell you what i can already smell the rage in the comments section and this video ain't even edited yet but let's not get us <laughs> but let's not let ourselves stop here we've got five classes remaining test number three now if you're gonna have fun playing as a class, you need to, of course, be playing a class that everybody loves and enjoys, right? A fan favorite type of class. Of course, if you would. Druid. So that said, what we're gonna do is we're gonna eliminate any class that's, well, not so beloved by the community for one reason or another. We don't wanna play a class that if you decide to play one, you're gonna be mocked for doing so in any way, shape or form. Instead, you wanna find yourself warmly welcomed into any group you join. So unfortunately, we're gonna get rid of the following classes. Number one, shamans. 
Huh? I'm sorry, shamans, but your entire class is pretty much a meme since Classic WoW. I love shamans, but unfortunately, we're always underperforming. We're always complaining. That's not even true. Like, if you check out, like, how high enhancement shaman is actually with M plus keys and stuff. Like, sure, elemental shaman, same when it comes, like, PvP is kind of, like, left behind. But I think, like, enhancement shaman is, like, pretty OP these days. Uh, PvP and PvE. I, I saw like some hierarchies done by those, so I'm actually confused why they're out of the list. We're always complaining on the forums. Blizzard is always giving us the short end of the stick. We have not been cool since Classic WoW. I said it! And also, Evokers. I'm sorry, Evokers, uh? but no matter how much you try to escape that furry slash scaly stereotype, uh, okay, that's why some people hate them, do it. True. Trust me, I'm a Death Knight. I play a Death Knight, and I still to this day am called an Edge Lord and a Cringe Factory. So sorry, guys, but shamans and Evokers, you guys are off the list. <laughs> As for our three remaining oh, contestants. Wow. You can't really complain about either I'm of glad them. that the Druid is Warriors there. Warriors are beloved Druid. tanks and gym bros and real life priests. They're the most beloved healers in the game. And Druid players, they always tend to be extremely good at World of Warcraft due to how versatile their class yes. is. Yes. And they can also fulfill any role needed in a group. So That's we've true. narrowed it down to three, my friends. Three classes remain, but only one class can be the best. Only one can be the most fun class to play in Dragonflight. And we're gonna find out which of these three it is. Why are we in Surama? The final test. <laughs> test number four. There is only one way to break the tie between these three classes. Only one way to determine which of them is the most fun to play as, which of them is the best. And that is simply of these three, which would win in a honky tonk bar fight in the American South? And guys, that's of clearly course, Warrior, obvious. Then. The priest would get his ass kicked repeatedly. He True. probably wouldn't be in the bar because he's too holy for that sort of thing. The point is, he'd get his ass kicked even despite his attempts yep. to heal himself. The druid, he would transform into a bear and get himself shot by every redneck hunter in the vicinity. Wait a second. Nightborn druid? That's a freaking hunter. That's not a druid. <laughs> Why is there a nightborn hunter? I, I, for a second, I, th I thought like, yeah, wait, what? Can nightborn now be druids? Shot by every redneck hunter in the vicinity. And the warrior, despite enduring cuts and bruises, he would likely be so drunk on Woodford Reserve and so enraged by the fact that that steamy night elf babe in the corner stood him up for playing the overcompensating wiener class. Ooh. That's kind of small. Wow. Yikes. Yikes. That he would end up beating the living crap out of every person in that bar, all before kindly paying his tab and tipping the bartender generously. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. That settles it. The warrior is objectively the best and most fun class to play in World of Warcraft Dragonflight. Funny Sorry, other classes, but maybe someday you guys can be as cool, Chad, and awesome as the beloved warrior. Or you guys can just play the Death Knight. AKA the true best class in the game. Right, guys? <laughs> God? That was funny. But yeah, I would say it depends on each individual. Like, uh, what do you want to do? Do you want to be purely DPS? Do you love range? You want to be range without magic, then play a freaking hunter, go for like marksmanship hunter or something. Like, I don't know. And, and when it comes to like fitting into this world and stuff, like paladins, for example, I, I think any any sort of role that has like some support in it, why would it not fit in, right? Like you have paladins even when there are no undead and no demons. But yeah, like some some classes, like I have to agree here with Nixium, they feel kind of like lost in the Dragon Islands. Like why the heck is a demon hunter there or death knight? Like those two, for example, it is so freaking confusing, right? Cause demon hunters, they hunt demons. There are no real, like there are no demons. Are there any demons in the Dragon Isles? I have not seen any, so yeah. What is a demon hunter hunting for in the Dragon Isles if there are no demons? Are they now not demon hunters, but the class is now called Dragon Hunters? Have they gotten rid of their fell or what? Are they using now arcane blades or something? Yeah, some sort of spell blade? Like, this is something I don't get about, like, demon hunters in the freaking Dragon Isles. When it comes to Death Knights, I have not even seen Forsaken. Like, even as a Forsaken, you feel kind of weird in the Dragon Isles because there's not so much undead stuff. I have not even seen many Forsaken NPCs or important characters in the Dragon Isles. And now Sylvanas is gone. You only have, like, one or two. I, isn't that guy at, like, the... 
where the boat or like sorry the airship comes where the airship comes there's like one npc that's a forsaken but besides that i have not even seen a forsaken npc so yeah being undead in a dragon isles is kind of weird too right because there's nothing undead themed or anything like that right but yeah when it comes to like shaman i saw they did high keys so I think Shaman is also really, really good in my opinion. It's also fun. They have like some new skills. Like what I love so much about like Dragonfire when it comes to like class changes, how we have now some skills that we didn't have before. Like they added new skills to classes. Like you see this on Warrior, you see this on Druid with like those mushrooms. They were not before, like around before they were not. Like I don't remember ever seeing a skill called Mushroom before on the Druid. Now we have those. We have some cool new shaman skills with also this new AOE skill and stuff. I actually love the way they play now, like some of the classes. They have been more designed more interesting by Blizzard and I love this. But yeah, what is your most favorite class? Let me know in the comment section. And if you guys are new to this channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. I will see you guys next time.